Today is the first day of the common vlog. Yeah! <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set up my tripod. A little bit about myself. I'm 21 years old. I am a photographer. I've been doing photos for like, I don't know, two years now. I wanna say two years, yeah. Um, I kind of started learning it a little bit in high school for my graphic design classes. And um, I just kind of liked it. And believe it or not, but I actually started on my cell phone. At the time I had an HTC One. So the camera quality like was really good and it had manual controls. And here he comes. Anyways, so I had a HTC One and it had manual controls on the, on the camera. So he kind of showed me the basics on that. And then that's how I kind of got into like photography and stuff. And then like a few months later, I just decided fuck it and I went out and bought myself a camera, which is what I'm using to do my video right now. It's a Canon 60. Um, I'm using a 14 millimeter lens with an aperture of 2.8. And I got a little light up here, LED light. It's pretty, it's pretty cool, I like it. It's nice and bright. But yeah, so we just kind of started taking pictures and like, you know, posting them on Instagram and stuff. And like, we eventually just kind of progressed and grew and like learned. I, honestly, in the past two years, I've learned so much. Like, if you go to the very, very bottom of my Instagram, like to my first post, it's just, you'll see the, the gradual difference in growth that, you know, I had in photos. And um, it's pretty cool because I don't know, it's just something I really like to do. Yeah, like now, Instagram has kind of like helped us with our, you know, work. Like, people kind of know who we are in town as far as like doing photos and stuff because I think me, Acavius, our friend Abe, and, well, he's not from here, but his Instagram name is one of the brave are really the only ones that like go out all the time and do something you know we started the IGers branch here in El Paso and like it's getting pretty big and it's cool because like all these kids are starting to want to take photos and like go out and like learn and like you know they'll message us or they'll like comment on our stuff and they'll be like hey I really like your stuff like it's super cool and I want to learn how to do that or, you know, I want to learn editing or whatever. And it's it's sick, so we host these meetings and stuff. And, you know, the first one we hosted was at Hillside Coffee on the west side. And, like, a good, like, how many showed up to that meet, KV? Like, 20 people? Like, 15 people, besides the, you know, the people that were hosting it, which was me, a KVS, and um, one of the brave. And um, it was cool, like, got to meet a lot of new people and like, just feed off of each other's creativity. And it was great because the people that wanted to learn, like, tried it out themselves as opposed to asking us like what our camera settings were and like, I don't know, it was just cool, like they kind of already had an idea of what to do. So that, that was cool. But I'm sorry, I'm on my phone. I'm always on my phone, by the way. Like, always. So if I don't text you back, it's probably that I don't like you or you're just annoying, or I was probably busy, but more than likely the first two. I go to UTEP, or I went to UTEP, and honestly that school sucks for like art. I'm sorry, everybody that's all like, oh my god, UTEP art, like no, it fucking sucks. It's not cool. I didn't like their communications uh, classes and stuff, or their art classes, they weren't that great. But it's a really good school for engineering, computer science, and nursing. So if you're in any of that, go. But I'll be moving to hopefully either at the end of this year or next year back to San Antonio. Go to the university there. Well, it's not really a university, it's the Art Institute there. I got accepted, accepted into their photography program, so that's pretty cool. I'm excited. It's, I don't know, it's scary though, because like I'm moving to another city. like. I have my, you know, my ground covered here. Like, I know people here, and like, I have a lot of friends here, and I'm, over there, I'm not gonna really know anybody. So it's just kind of like, oh shit. 
I don't know. It's scary. It's a scary thought. I guess in San Antonio, what I just kind of want to do is come out of nowhere, as in like just start working like for people and doing their photos and just kind of getting around town and then just all of a sudden just boom oh who's this guy why is he you know why is everybody hiring him you know like he must be really good because I mean I'm not saying I'm like the most amazing photographer out there I just think that I'm I'm, I'm very confident in my work now as opposed to before like now I'm not afraid to charge for photos because I know what I'm doing and I know the product that I'm giving to people is good quality stuff and I'm not like super expensive either like I'll, you know, if you want photos done, like I'll work with you to see what we can do. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm also in a band. I play guitar in a hardcore band called Torment. We recently got back from Houston. We played a music f festival there. It was, it was sick. Like those kids are so tight. I don't know. It's just everybody was pitting and washing and like beating the shit out of each other, and like everybody was totally cool. There was a few fights there, but I mean. The beef was squashed, I guess, and uh, we made a lot of new friends, and they really want us to go back. So that was cool. A lot of some sketchy stuff happened there. To my bassist, he almost he got a knife pulled on him, and it was it was oh it was so dumb and it was crazy. But that's his story to tell, not mine. So there's a lot of you know plans with the band too. But I don't know how it's gonna work if I do move this year. Hopefully, I move in January because this summer we plan on playing. Hard Times Festival in Loretto, Texas, and then they might do another festival in Houston that they want us to play, and then Corpus Christi wants us to play. And then hopefully we can do like a small Texas tour with um, a band called Choke Chain from Dallas. They're sick, you guys should check them out. Uh, do a tour run with them and maybe another Texas band, you know, just do Dallas, Houston, San Antonio, Loretto, and then may maybe El Paso, and then like we can stay here at home, because El Paso, Texas is literally on the other end of Texas. We are on, we are West Texas. Like we are the very end of Texas and everybody else is just on the east side, just there. Like it takes seven hours for us to drive from here to San Antonio, nine hours from here to Dallas and 11 hours from here to Houston. It's, it's crazy. And I think it's 12 from here to Loretto cause you go east to San Antonio and then down south to Loretto. And it's, Texas is huge. But I love Texas. I don't think I could live in any other state. What else is there to know about me? I have a beard and people recognize me for my beard. I don't know why. I just, I've always had one. I grew it out like, I wanna say my junior year of high school and I just kind of kept it. And then I shaved it once for an interview. After high school, like the year I graduated, like, and never again, cause I look so stupid without a beard, or maybe that's just me because I'm so used to me seeing myself as, like with a beard, but I look like a, I don't know, a prepubescent child, like it's just disgusting, I don't like the way I look without facial hair, it sucks, and I really wish I had a mustache, like, I mean it's kind of there, but I want a thick mustache, which, which is, it's just ironic because I'm Mexican, you know, like I have some Mexican blood in me, so I should have like a really gnarly mustache, but I don't, and it's really disappointing, and it sucks, but whatever. I'm pretty excited to start this vlog. Um, I'm barely starting, so like, give me time to really get good at it, because it's really awkward talking to a camera. Because you're literally talking, you're just talking to a camera, like there's no, nobody's asking you stuff. Nobody's, you know, talking to you. I mean, I guess like the interaction I had with the KBS, but like even then, you know, it's not really, the same because like I guess I want to make it to where it's personal between me and my viewers like I want them to feel like they're a part of something kind of like how Casey Neistat does his stuff for Mr. Ben Brown like then again they've been doing it for a while so they're like really good at talking to a camera and getting things across you know so I'm still learning just give me time um, I don't know there's really not much else to me I like to travel like, I don't like being in one spot for too long. But honestly, whenever I can, I will leave town, whether it's to go a few hours out into Ridoso, you know, New Mexico, or White Sands, New Mexico, or Cloudcroft, whatever, just, I don't, I don't like being in one place at once, you know. If I get a longer vacation from work, I'll head over to San Antonio, or Austin, or, you know, Dallas, and hang out there for a week. 
you know, like me and the KBS are actually plan planning a trip in June to go from here and we're gonna do like a photo tour, I guess you could say. So you would go here and then we go up to Las Vegas and hang out in Las Vegas for like a day and then go up to the Grand Canyon, Antelope Canyon. Um, where else? We're thinking about going to Salt Lake City also and maybe Colorado, you know, cause we have a week off in June and we can actually, actually get more days off cause like we collect comp time. So maybe we can get like two weeks off and do that and it should be super cheap. We're thinking maybe rent a car and then drive all the way up to Salt Lake City or wherever and then just fly back, you know? Ugh, excuse me, that would be cool. Um, I guess if you wanna know where I work, I work for the school district here as well, just like Acavius. He does their photography and I am a computer technician there. Actually, I have two campuses that I need to take care of and I'm basically just, at those campuses, I'm in charge of like their technology, like all of it. So whenever they have, you know, problems with their computers or their labs or anything, they like let me know and I have to go out there and get stuff working. It's pretty it's pretty cool. It's um it's a nice job because I have weekends off and holidays. So like I guess when I go to San Antonio it's I kinda wanna work for school district again. It's just kinda hard to get into. Like it really is about who you know and um it's tough, so I need to kind of like figure out how to get in over there and just apply and do what I need to do. <laughs> this guy's just exploring the house. Other things about myself, I am Photoshop um, certified with Adobe, Illustrator certified with Adobe, and I'm also really I'm not certified with for Lightroom, but I'm I know how to use that program very well. All my photos just come out totally clean after I'm done cleaning them up like color correcting and stuff. It's great. I don't know. I have a lot of gear. Well, not as much as the KB is, but lately I've been spending way too much money on this shit like the other day, no, it wasn't the other day. In December, yeah, I was, I was hanging out with this guy, and he's like, "Hey, there's a a lens on sale on B and H," and I was like, "How much is it?" He's like, "Oh, it's like 400 or 500 new." I was like, "Okay, how much is it now?" He's like, "215." So I didn't even think about it. I was like, "I think I have 215 dollars," and I just bought it. I don't regret it because that's the lens that I've been using ever since. I love it. I bought a 14 millimeter, and it's. It's great, like, I get everything. That's what I'm using right now, actually. That's why you can kind of see me and, cause I'm super close to the camera, like, look, I'm about to touch the camera, like, it's crazy. <clears throat> okay, so, we're home now. I stopped the video cause there were some people, like, out where we were at and it was like, I don't know, it was just weird. And I forgot what I was talking about. So I guess it's just, this is, this will just be where I end everything. So, I mean, stay posted and stuff, I guess, if you're, you know, you want to see this stuff. I don't really care if you do or don't. This is just kind of something I wanted to try. Um, I should be posting every week for now until I kind of get used to it, then maybe I'll start doing a daily thing. It's just a lot of work, like putting the video together, get, blah, 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 putting the video together and then editing everything and then you know, like it's just a lot of work, plus like my photos and then I work all day every day anyways. So we'll see how it goes. But that's it for today. Hope I wasn't too boring. Shout out to Rocky. You know, he does this too. So kudos to him because this shit's hard.